hey, we're given a frequency table and we have to answer various questions. So first it says, identify the lower class limits. So the lower class limits are these numbers here, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, etc. So they're the smallest numbers that fit in each class. So 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, I'll have to scroll down here, let's see, 70, and 80. Let's click check answer. Good stuff. Now it says identify the upper class limits. So the upper class limit is the largest number that fits in the class. Set these numbers up here, so 29, 39, 49, so I'll type those in. So 29, 39, 49, 59, 69, 79, and 89. Let's click check answer. Hurrah! Got it right. Identify the class width. Okay, so to find the class width, all you have to do is subtract. So you can do 30 minus 20, and that gives you 10. That's the class width. Where would I get those numbers from? You just subtract consecutive lower class limits. So 30 minus 20 is 10. You can also do 40 minus 30, that's also 10. Or 50 minus 40, that's also 10. Likewise, you can do 39 minus 29, that's 10. So you just have to subtract these. So in this case, it's 10. So 10, check answer. Good stuff. Identify the class midpoints. Okay, so to find the midpoint for the first class, what we do is we add the lower class limit, so 20, to the upper class limit, so 29, and we divide by 2. Okay, that's going to give us, let's see, 20 plus 29 is 49 over 2. And you can do this in your head or you can use the calculator. This is 24.5. So that is the midpoint for the first class. Okay, this is the midpoint for the very first class, okay? So that's going to go here, 24.5. So again, to find the midpoint, you just add up the 20 and the 29. I always just add up these numbers and divide by 2. To get the rest of the midpoints, you can do the same thing. You could do 30 plus 39 and then divide by 2. But that's too much work. There's a trick. All you have to do is keep adding the class width. So the class width was 10, so we just add 10. So 34.5. 44.5, and then 85.5. Okay, let's try that. No, I got it wrong. So what did I do? Did I add wrong? I did add wrong. Okay, so not all hope is lost. So this is 54.5, 64.5, 74.5 and 84.5. So it just goes to show how easy mistakes can happen. All right, for some reason my four I added wrong, right? So <laughs> quick check answer. There we go. Got it right. Good stuff. All right, identify the class boundaries. So I'm going to write down the frequency table over here so you see it. Let me show you how I do it. So we have this. This is our table, etc. Right? That's our frequency table. So to find the class boundaries, what I do is the following. I always take these two numbers here, add them up and divide by 2, no matter what. So if you add these up and divide by 2, we're basically finding the midpoint of these numbers. That's going to be 29.5. So this is the second class boundary. So this is going to go in the second box, Okay, always. So I always find the second one first. And how do I find it? I always just take these two numbers here, okay? and then add them up and divide by 2. And that always, no matter what, this is your second boundary, always. Once you find the second boundary, you just add and subtract 10, which is the class width. So subtracting 10, we get 19.5. And then we just keep adding 10 to get the others. So 39.5, uh, 49.5, 59.5, 69.5, 5 and 89.5. Let's click check answer. Oh, before we do, let me check. <laughs> 19, 20, 30, 40, 50. Yep, looks okay. Yay, got it right. There's more. 
identify the number of individuals included in the summary. So I think we have to add up all the frequencies. Okay, so we have to actually add them all up. So we have to do 28 plus 35 plus 13 plus 4 plus 5 plus 1 plus 2. I'm going to carefully put this in my calculator. Let's see, 28 plus 35 plus 13 plus 4 plus 5 plus 1 plus 2. I got 88. 88. Let's see, 88. I like how it says do not round. <laughs> it should never be a decimal. They're frequencies. Uh, here we go. Yay, got it right. So I hope this made sense.